Greetings, goddesses. Um, I <clears throat> hope you bear with me. I am just getting over um, a really severe iron issue and I have some ongoing swelling. My hands are pretty swollen right now. So I'm not quite moving the way that I would normally be moving. And so um, because due to a change, unexpected change of the schedule yesterday, I was not able to do the live. However, we are here now, we still have time. Um, I have put some photos in of, you know, my herbs for the bath. Now that is something that, that spiritual cleansing can be done um, it, yesterday, today, tomorrow, right? You can do that three days. I use my whole pot and with just a, enough water to, um, to get in there. And then so that it's a lot of the, basically the water turns red, you know, kind of it becomes brown depending on how much water, but I don't even do half a tub. So I've done my cleansing. I've cleaned the bath tub immediately after, and um, I have cleaned my space. So before we get started and I start with the sound bowl, and I don't know how much of that I'm going to be able to do because my hands are swollen. I wanted to do our usual um, updates, housekeeping, all of that great stuff. So um, as you know, we've moved platforms. So we are no longer on Meetup and I'm looking to see how that's going. We may go back in order to be able to attract new members, but we're going to be operating um, completely from Patreon. So we did that move last month. This month, for those of you who have moved over, thank you so much. And um, this month, between now and the full moon, all of your deliverables for those of you who joined at a moon goddess level will be available. And for those of you who joined at the mystical goddess level, um, all of those things will be available. So let me um, shrink this down a little bit and explain what those things are. No, but I need one. I'm okay. I'm on Zoom. Um, okay, let's see if I can get this page up. So the Moon Goddess Circle um, level on Patreon is three dollars and thirty three cents a month. So it gives you access, of course, to the two Facebook communities, uh, Magic with Priestess Mamio and the Moon Goddess Circle. <clears throat> I will be putting general moon information in both of those groups. Um, there will be some, anything pertaining to the moon will be in both groups. If you're interested in magic, other rituals, things like that, then um, Magic with Priestess Mamio, um, all of those things will be in that group. There are, they're not called units anymore, they're guides in there. And I'm filling those guides with training information to get you started. And I am putting a lot of PDFs into that group so that you have access to um, other information. So my computer here. Is moving like crazy slow in terms of um, updating this page. So you get access to those. Um, in the Moon Goddess Circle, when you join, you also get your um, a PDF journal, right, that walks you through how you can better connect to the moon. And um, so you get the Moon Journal ebook. Right, you get our Moon Goddess Facebook community. You get the Moon Ritual live stream, which is this one, and really you get two. So you get this new moon and you get the full moon. It's always um, um, available, right? So everybody gets, if, even if you're in the Facebook group communities, they get the full moon and the new moon. Um, starting this month in December, there will be other moon rituals during other moon cycles that 
only those in that are members will have access. It would only be available through, through the Patreon site, um, as well as a, a very specific training, right? So there are things that you can do with the moon. There are um, products and oils and powders and all types of things that you can make under the moon, the influence of the moon. And so those are the types of trainings that will be a part of that $3.33 a month membership. Those videos will not be put on YouTube and they will not be in the Facebook group. So that's how you get access to that. If you follow me on Facebook um, and um, I believe in the moon, both in both communities, I started a series on um, magical herbal ingredients and I will be talking about like how to make sigils and really a lot more magical types of things and some manifesting things on YouTube. And those videos will be available in the uh, Magic with Priestess Lamiel Facebook group. But it's hard to take notes for some people. Um, if you saw the beginning stages, I've got about 12 more magical ingredient videos where I talk to you about the uses of the ingredients, how you can use them, what they're good for, that type of thing. The notes from those particular trainings, um, downloadable PDFs on how to make sigils, um, using runes. I'll be talking about uh, tarot cards and um, oracle cards and things like that getting the downloadables of all of the things that I talk about on YouTube and anything I talk about in the magic uh, Facebook community will be available only in our Patreon site under the Mystical Goddess membership, which is $8.88 a month. So you ha will have access to all of those things. You will get a magic training that will not be available anywhere else. And we will do a very specific spell for the month. And it's going to really be based on the month, the energy, that time. And then, of course, you have access to everything else that the, um, the moon goddess circle has. So it's a step up. It gives you more information if you're more in interested in magic. So that's where we're going to be working from in terms of um, <clears throat> our platform. And... Um, you know, Q&As are available. If you guys want to put questions, things like that in the Facebook groups, I will make videos to answer those questions. Um, things that are really, really detailed and specific, I will answer those questions as well, but they will only be available through our Patreon platform, right? So that there is some exclusive content available for those who really want to know. And, excuse me, 888 a month. Like I spend that on coffee in a week. <laughs> so um, it's not expensive. The idea also is that January, February, so March, March 2022 will be our first month of at least two live rituals. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do all four, but we definitely are going to be doing all two. They're going to be located in Virginia. They will be live streamed. And so those will cost, right? If you are a member of the Moon Goddess Circle through Patreon or the Mystical Goddess, um, or you have the Mystical Goddess membership, of course, the cost will be less. Um, and in January, we will be doing a Moon Box. Um, actually, we'll start in February, but in January, you'll be able to join on the Moon Box level, which will include the, um, the moon circle, the mystical goddess, and then you'll have the moon box as an option. And that is going to include things way beyond what we were doing this year, which was mainly um, things you needed for your ritual. This, is, this box is going to be including things that you need for your manifesting and your magic practice. So it can include some of those things for the moon, um, uh, moon circle, and that manifesting and then other things that will help you manifest and do your own spell work. So that'll be introduced next year um, at about the same price that we were offering it this year. 
that is pretty much all of our housekeeping. Um, our text number, our communication is still the same, 571-888-5191. If you guys have any questions, would like to schedule time for readings, things like that, that's how you do it. So that is all for housekeeping. So I'm gonna open our circle here with the bell, well, with the bowl. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Something new that I would like to introduce to everyone, which I'm not going to do here today on the live, is a 10 or 15 minute meditation prior to the start of your ritual. The sound clearing is amazing. Centering yourself um meditating to the point of detachment and um i will be doing a video this month in um in our magic in our magic uh facebook group on how to meditate to detach to the point of detachment because we're going to be doing four. This is the first of four um, rituals. We're going to have one on the first. So really in a 30-day period, we're going to be doing five rituals. And to really set yourself up and for the projection and the clarity on manifesting, um, meditating for at least 15 minutes to the point of detachment is going to bring you greater results, right? And it's going to create space for um, your inspired actions to come through. So you're gonna wanna do that. So this is that space. Now, prior to coming to sit down, it would be ideal that you have already done your spiritual cleanse. You need to do that always before always before um, you start your ritual. Today, I'm going to be using some of the things that I had posted in the group. So you guys should have, it's blurring it out, <laughs> but um, your check, right? The gratitude, the gratitude bank of the universe, that check. I'm going to be using one of those. I'm going to be using a goddess candle. You can use any candle. Um, I do two candles. So I do this goddess candle here that I will sit with and spend time with and focus on for the next uh, couple of hours. And then I will light on day two, I will light a seven day candle that will continue to burn for the next seven days. I'm also going to be using a Rose of Jericho. Bring it closer to me. So, um, I will do a video so that you guys have more information about the Rose of Jericho, but um, sometime throughout this week, but I will be using a Rose of Jericho because of the power of this energy that we're in, the solar, solar eclipse. So all of that energy happened in two minutes. It was a lot. And you guys probably experienced some level of, um, some level of symptoms. You may have had things going on with you, what have you. 
it's okay. Be easy with yourself, drink a lot of water um, and relax. Right, that's really all you can. It's all we can do <laughs> is relax. So the Rose of Jericho is a plant that is really about prosperity. So when it is out of water, it looks like this. When it's placed in water, it turns green and it opens up and it is a representation of, of life, of rebirth, of um, money coming to you, right? And so keeping this refreshed and alive keeps your money and that flow going. So this, and because I'm also um, kind of been really big lately on plants and things like that. So once this opens, um, I'm going to do a video this week that gives you way more information about the Rose of Jericho. Once it opens um, later in the month, I will, so for each of the rituals, I will, um, I'll clean it and refresh it. So I will show you how to take care of your Rose of Jericho over the month. So if you have one, and the thing is, if you don't have one today, that is okay. You can order one. Um, you can order one from me. You can order one from, I don't know. You can find one at a Botanica or at a metaphysical shop, okay? So um, yeah, if you don't have it, you can order it and have it ready, you know, have it for next week. and. Um, and start your cycle then. And there's a lot of things that you can use with, do with your Rose of Jericho water because then the water is charged with the energy of your Rose of Jericho. So um, I am cleansing and blessing this in my Call Money incense. Let's see, you need English, there you go. All right, this is my favorite. Um, incense. My intention, if you have not picked yours, my intention is a financial one. I also have um, a health intention since I had not been feeling well. And so that ritual looks a little bit different. And for those of you who are part of the Moon Goddess Circle on Patreon, you will see what that looks like. That will be posted. Um, for you. So my goddess candle here is sitting on a bed of roses. And I have dressed her with the magical vixen oil that is available from me. It is an attraction oil. It is an immediate attraction oil. Um, this is not a attract a lover oil. This is attract results. Okay. Magical vixen is about results. It's about give me what I want and I want it now. So this is a, an attraction oil that gives you instant resolve to situations, financial or otherwise. So I have written a check. The check is under the stand. Um, I have my candle on a stand. I have written a check. I put my candle on a bed of roses because I add roses and sometimes hibiscus. I use it a lot. Rose is a master herb. So if you have nothing else, you can use roses. Um, and it brings an element of love, right? So I, what I'm drawing to me um, in terms of the money is I want it to come in easily. I want it to come in with love. I want it to come in with joy. Um, my check is also um, dressed with magical vixen. So my check and my candle and even on the roses. And um, I'm putting this in and on my Rose of Jericho, right? So everything has this energy of, you know, Give it to me now. I want it now. I deserve it. I'm worthy. It is my birthright. Like that is the energy. So you can, and I have carved a sigil into my 
goddess body candle, which is a, a sigil of attraction. It is a drawing sigil. Um, and more specifically, I have two candles. So more specifically, this one that I'm showing you is about money. Um, and then I have another one that is very specific to health, right? And vitality and strength. So now that I know and I'm focused, I've picked my intentions. I have dressed my candle. I have put my sigil on my candle. I have my incense going. Um, I just thought of something else I wanted to add on here. I'm going to write it on her booty. I also put this, my sigil on the check. And I am going to put that sigil and what it is that I'm manifesting on a piece of paper. It's on a piece of paper that has been dressed with the magical vixen oil you can see there. And, um, and the sigil, so it's in there. So that way when it blooms, it is bringing forth what I asked and you can just drop it in there. If you're gonna use it during a ritual, you can actually put it in water, let it open a little bit and stick it in there. Other people put coins in there, um, lots of different things. The coins I have found um, sometimes make the plant sick. So I stopped doing that. Um, and I'm using a citrine crystal. So this is part of, and then I do have the incense going and I've cleansed everything with this call money incense. So now that I'm clear, I am set up and prepared. I am going to journal. And I know we've talked about this. Our last um, circle was not recorded, but uh, I know that I've talked to you guys about this. Journaling draws focus if you do it right. So what I'm gonna do and what I suggest is that instead of just generally journaling, I wanna give you some different guidance points. And I think that when you are attracting and drawing money to you, um, a focus wheel of journaling is better. Right before you light your candle, before you ignite this, you need to be energetically aligned with what you're asking for. How do you do that? A focus wheel is an amazing way to do that. So how do you do a focus wheel and why? Because you have to be able to, you have to believe it, right? And you have to not be harboring resistance around it. So what I'm about to draw here, let's see, one, two, four, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So it looks kind of crazy, like a little spider. But in essence, I'm drawing a clock, right? It looks awful. Let me see if I can get it to focus on that. <laughs> no. Okay, so let me just explain it draw a circle. In this circle, you're writing what your intention is. And then you're going to draw 12 lines, like a clock, right at 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way around. And then you're going to close it in with a circle, right? So it's a circle inside of a circle. 
I have um, a downloadable, but that is something that would be available um, on the mystic goddess level. So in the inner circle that is empty, you are going to write what your intention is. What are you manifesting, right? So the fact that you're wanting this, the fact that you are trying to attract this, the fact that you are intentionally wanting to manifest this says that there is a little bit of angst in that. There is an unwanted situation that is causing you to want to manifest this thing. Okay. And what this focus will is, is to help you get into a better feeling place about what you're manifesting so that there's less angst, there's less resistance. And when you start your ritual process um, with the candle and such, because this is really part of the ritual, um, you are more aligned with it and you can call it in easier. So I have in the center what I want to manifest. So you start at 12 o'clock. And you go very general, you know, so for example, if you need to move or you don't have a house and you really need a house and you're really trying to manifest a house, you have some stress around that for whatever the reasons are that's causing you to need a house. So look for better, we're, what we're trying to do is get you to a better feeling place around the need for a house, the want for a house, et cetera, right? Or a lover or the money or a new car or a job or whatever it is you're trying to manifest. So we'll stick with the house. You, if you have a lot of tension and a lot of stress on you about it, being very, very general is better. If you feel kind of okay about it, you can get more specific or you can start general. And as you start to sense and know that you're feeling better, you can get more specific as you work your way around, right? So here's an example. Um, I need to manifest a house in the next 30 days. That's in the center. So um, at 12 o'clock, there are a lot of houses available, right? Because there are, I'm going very, very general. Um, there's a lot of houses, you know, in the area where I wanna stay. And they're really at all price points. So I'm sure I can find one in my price point. And I'm sure with all the selection out there, I can find something that I'm going to love. I can find, you know, I'm looking for my next level dream house, not my um, lifetime dream house. And um, just like I am wanting a house, I know that there's someone who's wanting to find someone like me to rent a house to. And I'm sure if I look, maybe in non-traditional places, I could find something that might be a better match. And I actually feel a little bit better about this. And I know that we're gonna be okay. I mean, we're safe now, we're good now. We have a house now. Um, and going to our next step is going to be better and things are getting better. And I already have the money for the move. So half the battle is done. I trust the process. I trust the universe. Okay, so now it's more than 12, but do you see, as I start talking, when you hold a thought for 16 seconds, another thought of the equal vibration appears. And then it becomes easier and easier and easier and easier. And then before you know it, you are in a place of non-resistance 
for what it is you are wanting to manifest. So now is the time, and I'm gonna take this time and, um, and write minds. I'm gonna pause this, uh, the recording. So if you are doing this along with me, as you watch the recording, um, pause, fill out your focus wheel, and then come back and we'll go to the end. Okay, so um, I am done with my focus wheel. And so the next part is, the next part, and I did this in a journal, okay? Um, you could do this on a piece of paper and you can set it under your candle. What's under my candle is, like I said, is my check. I did the focus wheel because I will go back every day, two and three times a day. There's actually an app on my phone that allows me to do focus wheels and it's called Focus Wheel, okay? I don't know if it's gonna, let's see if it's gonna even show, let's see. Okay, so this is what it looks like. If you decide to download it, it's called Focus Wheel. So anytime I'm in a situation and I'm feeling any resistance, the sooner you feel the resistance, doing this work is better, especially on what you are working on right now. It's good to do it on everything. And so I do have times or evenings where I sit down and go, okay, everything that I am feeling unsure, uncertain, you know, about, I make a list. And then I literally just do a focus wheel on each one of those ideas so that I can get myself back into alignment, right? Um, but specifically around what you're manifesting in this work today, um, you want to do a focus will on at least once a day. If you could do twice a day, you're, you're a shoe in for what you're manifesting. If you could do it more than that, um, you're golden. Okay. My fat fingers here. So um, that is what is going to keep you in alignment with what you're manifesting. And so if you do that and you do your cleansing bath over the next two days for the next today and tomorrow, you'll be great. I have this crystal and I'm char I have charged it and I did dress it with the Vixen oil um, to bring about that financial goal. I have a separate crystal for my health, one that's small enough for me to carry with me. So this one I will hold while I do my focus wills. I will hold while I do my 15 minute meditation every day regarding this, right? Because it's charged to help magnetize me is how I charged it, to magnetize me, to draw in what it is that I want. So now, that I am aligned with that. My first step is to light this candle. And so I just kind of said or prayed my intention over it. And then I'm gonna get a bowl. Let me grab the bowl. Okay, so oddly enough, I bought two of these bowls from the Dollar Tree. And they both have cracks in them. But they're not all the way to the bottom. And so I'm not going to start with a lot of water, but I have some charged water, right? That I charged in a gallon um, container from the last new moon. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. And, you know, this is the root side. So I'm going to put it root side down. 
in the bowl, right? Speaking my intention over that. And then I will set this out um, where I can see it, where I can nurture it. Um, some people, you can put crystals in it. Some people put coins in it. Some people put paper money in it. Um, I just like to give it love and energy because all that other stuff gunks up my water and I use this water. And so um, I'll do a actual video on how I use the water and things like that will be in the Facebook group and or if you don't have Facebook, it will be on YouTube. So that being said, my ritual is complete. Your work is during the next few days is of course to do your focus will. Anytime you have negative thoughts, negative feelings or emotions pertaining to what it is that you are trying to manifest and to do your um, spiritual bath. Um, if you haven't done it today, do it today and then again tomorrow. Um, and hopefully you guys all got a chance to do it three days. And I am going to continue to add the spiritual bath aspect to all of our rituals, as well as some spiritual cleansing information, because there's a lot of people that I have, that have reached out to me, that talk to me, that come to me for spiritual work, and they'll say, I've done X, Y, and Z, and X, Y, and Z, but they haven't cleaned, right? They haven't cleansed. They haven't cleansed themselves. They don't cleanse their environment, right? When you are struggling and you need, there are plenty of people who are nasty and have plenty of money, right? Um, but they have another way to allow that to come in. And usually when things are dirty, messy, nasty, you are not keeping up with hygiene or your personal space. Those are emotional issues that are unresolved. And depending on the type of emotional issue that is, it can block right? Um, the money from flowing in, depending on how those emotions, you associate those emotions to your money, which is why, you know, yeah, it can work for some people and some people can be shitty people and, um, and still have a lot of money, right? It's about their emotions, how they associate it and what their issues are. So moral of the story, clean the fuck up, right? Clean up. If you are a person who presents well, but your house and your car are nasty, you have a lot of internal stuff going on that you need to clean the fuck up. And those things will help you have your own breakthrough. Cleansing, cleaning your body, cleaning your space will help you have your own breakthrough. It will help you maintain your levels. It will help you go to the next level, which is the reasons that they will be incorporated. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for continuing to be a part of um, our rituals and um, drinking water today. Again, I have been dealing with um, low iron and to the point now where I'm getting some iron infusions. And so when my iron is low, I am exhausted. And um, so, now that I'm getting the infusions, I will be back <laughs> on a more consistent basis and uh, I can actually continue as I'm looking at my big tooth, little tooth. <laughs> I'll be able to go back to the dentist, finish what I started there and um, everything will be good. So I said, I have health issues. I'm not sick. I um, really just have severely low iron and sometimes it can get away from me, which it did uh, late October. And I was really battling it all of November and um, need to get the infusions. So I'm getting the infusions and my energy levels will come back. Low iron takes away your energy, keeps me in bed, sleep most of the time. So with that, I love you guys. Thank you for reaching out for those of you who were questioning like, hey, what's going on? Are you okay? And um, for those who continue to be a part of this, um, you are definitely loved. You are definitely appreciated. And um, if you have any questions, 
please put them below. I'll be happy to answer them. And tomorrow I will put in information about our ritual for next week. Wrong side. My fat hands won't let me do it for very long. Love you guys. Thank you for being here and I'll see you guys next week.